Sundar. So, uh, thank you. So, let's start this chapter. We have already discussed about the project life cycle and, um, you know, what are the different types of project life cycles are there. So, let's understand it. Uh, what is the difference between the project life cycle and the product life cycle? Okay. So, the project life cycle is talk about uh, uh, whatever the activities that you do in one project, in uh, one of the projects, you know, each and everything that will be called as a project life cycle. Start from the feasibility analysis, uh, feasibility and do the analysis, then do the design and then implementation. Means start your project, which is part of initiation, then plan your project, then, uh, you know, execute it and, you know, keep on monitoring your uh, your activities and the, at the end that you will just close the project. So that's a basically overall that, that's called as a project life cycle. In, in one project, you will going to pass each and every phases in the project life cycle, in one project itself. But product life cycle is uh, different. So then let's understand it, uh, what's a project and what's a product life cycle. Project life cycle is a parent of obje uh, project. So basically means uh, every project has to go with this project life cycle. So uh, normally smaller, any smaller big project, it has to go with this, these phases, which is like a, You'll going to, you know, do the feasibility analysis, then you're going to design your things, and then you're going to work on it, just implement on it. Okay, but product life cycle it starts much before a project, we can say. Uh, for example, uh, you know, suppose we are, uh, we are thinking about uh, developing new product in the market. Suppose uh, uh, we are trying to uh, launch a SUV car, and that's not there in the market. Now, that discussion, you know, you're going to start at the early itself, like uh, the uh, project sponsor and the business sponsor, they will start thinking about, okay, this is, a, um, you know, this such, you know, the product is coming and, you know, the customer is looking for such product. So can we think about it? Can we go start building it? So product life cycle will be having multiple phases. So, uh, uh, you know, let me tell you what can be the different phases. And basically, these are called as a market introduction, market growth, market maturity, and decline. So basically, there is a four phases of the product life cycle. Normally, if I just want to introduce my uh, this uh, SUV car in the market, so I will just you know start you know having a prototype design, and then you'll you know start working on uh, engine design. Everything I will work on it, and at the end I will have you know, the product I'm going to introduce in the market, so that's, that will be the launch. Okay, that is the first phase of the product life cycle. And in this phase itself, there can be the multiple projects can be involved into that. One product is to just focus on a prototype, okay? Just, uh, you know, see that technically that can be done or not, or have some, uh, uh, you know, small prototype. And then another project is like a, my team will going to work on, you know, the design and then, you know, implement that whole project. So at least uh, they can, you know, introduce uh, or develop one car and one or two cars which they can show to uh, launch in the market, okay? Means in the market they can have a seminar or that is where they can launch it. So this is the first phase where uh, that that product is called, that's the first phase, that's the market introduction. You're going to introduce that market, that product in the market. Now once product has been introduced in the market, now your job is to increase the sales, in, you know, do the marketing and do a lot of activities so that, you know, it can work on a market growth, okay? So in the market growth, you can work on a multiple areas where you can work on the marketing team and just uh, market into the different geographical areas. So you can create a multiple small, small projects and with the multiple teams so that they can focus on marketing part. To, you know, and that is, those are also called as a project because at the end, uh, you'll focus on, uh, you know, uh, in that your geographical area, uh, how you can market your products. So that is where you're trying to focus on increasing the sales of that product, and that's where the market growth is there. And <clears throat> so this can go for one year, two years, four years, five years. So that's, that's where people, uh, you can focusing on and trying to cover every market and across the world. And third one is comes in market maturity. Market maturity after 15 to 20 years, then you realize that, uh, you know, the saturation has came in the market for the same product. 
sales, whatever you are producing it is just, you know, is getting consumed and there is no further increase in the sales. So that's like become a market maturity after 20 years and you'll, it's come to a market maturity. Now slowly after 25 years or 30 years, the, you know, the demand of that product is slowly decline it and that will be become your decline phase. Now where in this phase you need to think about it, how to, you know, roll out, uh, how to basically, uh, you know, remove the production of this product slowly because now the sales will keep on de decreasing. So you need to focus on your operation and the factory to, you know, decrease the production. Then whatever the resources that earlier they are working, your job is to put it into the different uh, areas so that they can be absorbed. So these, those are also become one small project because that is where you need to focus on it, how you can remove your resources, how you can decrease the production of that, uh, uh, you know, that car or that particular product that you are thinking about it. So that's basically your decline phase. Now there, this is the difference between the project life cycle and product life cycle. But in the product life cycle, in each and every phases, you can have multiple projects will be there. And each and every project will go through the project life cycle, means initiation, planning, execution, monitoring, and controlling. This is the, you know, the difference between the uh, project and product life cycle. You can uh, get one or two questions, uh, you know, from this chapter in the your in the PMP exam. Okay, so is this clear? So, Dilip, uh, project life cycle is uh, uh, is bigger uh, container than the uh, product life cycle. Is that right? No, product life cycle on which? See, don't uh, in the chapter three or uh, uh, okay in the chapter five, which is scope management. We talk about product scope, okay? Project scope is a bigger than our umbrella because in one project, you're going to develop some product, right? So that for that product, the project scope is a bigger than the product scope because for that project, you will going to develop one product, okay? One product. So in that context is a big, but here product life cycle have a duration is, you know, the larger duration but project life cycle duration is for that project itself. For that project, what is the duration of that? So that's what I was trying to say. Now in this product life cycle, when you're trying to have a market introduction, okay, in this market introduction, this is one phase is there. You're going to develop, uh, uh, you're going to work with the team one project where to develop design of that product. There can be one project you can have it, small project that you can have. And that's, that's one project. The outcome will be to have a, one prototype design and, and then based on that, you are going to create a one, uh, a one SUV car. That's another project. So in this market introduction phase, this is called as a phase where in this phase, you can have a multiple project itself. Means small, small project can be possible. So the product life cycle is a much bigger than, uh, you know, the duration of the product life cycle is a bigger than the project life cycle. Okay. Did you get, let's say, let's say the market growth. In the market growth, you are going to, uh, like uh, you are focusing on the, uh, you know, the AMR region and, uh, you know, EMEA region, which is uh, uh, Europe region and then Asia Pacific. So there's a multiple regions are there. For each and every region, you are going to create a multiple project, right? So it, it means that in this phase in market growth, this is the one phase of the product life cycle. So in this phase, you can have a multiple project. So it's definitely the, it is a bigger than the project life cycle. I mean, uh, uh, you know, th that's why the duration of this product life cycle is much larger than this one. Project life, is, life cycle for that project, once project got executed, means you accept the deliver everything that's over, that's closed. Now you start another project. You get my point? Yes. But when you're looking for a, Scope wise, I mean, scope wise means for that at that moment of project, since you are doing a project for doing something, right? Have some unique product, have some uh, results, something will be there, okay? So in that case, it, you know, product scope is talk about at that moment of time. That's a scope. That's not a life cycle, okay? That's a scope. The product scope for that, uh, what functionality we're trying to build it, 
that's a product scope product scope talk about uh, uh, what are the activities you are going to do to achieve the the that particular uh, a product so you are going to do lot of planning cost management and everything so the project project uh, your scope will be much bigger than the product scope in the scope management perspective here it is talk about life cycle okay the duration i can say okay okay 